In Xcode 4.2, we're going to add three view controllers to a storyboard. Normally, they'd all be connected to the same MNH file called view controller, but we're going to make three separate MNH files. This uh, is very useful when you have a lot of screens, a lot of view controllers, so that you can tie each view controller to its own MNH file, avoiding a lot of confusing code all in one file. So let's start by making a single view application. I'm sure you know how to do this. And I'm going to add three view controllers in there, as you can see. Now we add into our project two new M files, view controller subclass files, in the normal way. And after that, we have to associate those files with the correct view controllers. So we've added view controller 2 and view controller 3 here. Now, I suppose the most important part of this tutorial, we have to associate those new M files with the correct view controllers. So select your screen, your uh, view controller screen there, and then go to the top right, and you can see that little TV set with a square inside it. And then class view controller 3 is where you choose the correct M file to associate. Now we're simply going to add a button and a label to each view and just drag them on. I hope you know how to do this. And when we've done that, we need to get the correct view control M file. And you see that little mask there? That gives us a split view. Now we have to make sure that we've got the correct view controller file there. This is viewcontroller.h and then you just simply do the normal thing um, adding a button, labels, I do that on all three views and then we have to add a method as well by right clicking on a button and choosing touch down I think it is, touch down then scrape it into the view control of M file, H file rather give it a name, function 1 I've called it now we just add a label change function for each button. Um, I hope you know how to do this again. It's in the M file. Go down to the bottom in the IB action sender. Just put in that code, label text, as I'm label one. And then we have to go from one view to another. So I'm just going to use a swipe control here. Again, I've done another tutorial if you want to see how to do that. It's very easy. So we can swipe from one view to the other. Otherwise, we're stuck in just, just the first view. Choose modal. And then compile and run it. And just to prove it works, I'm label one, swipe. I'm label two, swipe. I'm label three. Well, if you look at the M&H files, actually associating the view controllers with the correct M&H files doesn't do anything in the M&H files. So what changes have been made? Well, we have to go to look at the XML source code in the interface builder for that. Changes have been made there. So click on the story border, open as source code, and you can see there's this class XML entry that specifies the view controllers. But don't delete an entire view controller because something really awful happens if you do that. Uh, now try and open it up in the interface builder and it's the end of your project basically.